got another lock clamped up in the vise with for you today. Um, this one is a Yale style um, rim cylinder, and it came from the UK. Uh, Pete Restall sent this one to me. It's a UAP brand, and you know I really wasn't thinking this was anything special until I turned the key over. It's kite marked. <laughs> So I've never actually picked a kite mark lock before. So this should be interesting. Um, we'll see how hard it is to get into. Give you a good zoom in here. From what I recall, they all have tapered key pins, kind of like Lockwood, so I might want to kind of take it easy at first with some pretty moderate tension. And that's an overset right there. Okay, got a couple clicks. I think it was six, four, and that was three. I'm on one. Nope. Okay, now I've got a false set. So I'm either writing in spools or T-pins now, I believe. I'm just feeling for feedback right now I'm not getting any feedback okay I just got a little bit of feedback off of five and set the pin okay nothing on one and now I'm going to feather tension so I think I'm just looking for T-pins or spools. And I don't want to accidentally overset those tapered key pins. Okay, a little counter rotation here. Okay, and I'm going to click. Now oh, there we go, got them open off too. All right, uh, let's take a look at these pins. take this clip off with my screwdriver and I'm going to go ahead and lock it back up. Now I've got a new e-clip remover but it's kind of hard to use. <laughs> I ain't quite used to it yet. So let's go ahead and stick the key in here. And because I believe there was T-pins in there Try to slide a shim in there. That went in fairly smooth. Hmm. 
Okay, and you can tell that it looks like reduced diameter or tapered key pins. Okay, pin one's a steel standard. Two is a steel pin standard. Three is steel and standard. Four is steel and standard. So I'm, I'm guessing that all six of these are going to be steel pins. Or at least I think they're steel pins. They could be coated. Let me grab a magnet real quick. Yeah, they're steel. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and look at the top. Tweezers. I've got a T-pin in one. It's also steel. I've got a steel T-pin that's not as long of a T-pin in two. I've got another T-pin in three. I've got a kind of a spooled T-pin in four. If I can get a hold of it here. I've got another spooled T-pin in five. It's actually a shorter spooled T-pin. And six is another real short T pin. And pretty nice actually. All steel pins in this thing with T pins. Really kind of throws a monkey wrench into the situation here. Let's go ahead and look at the pins real quick. Uh, you can tell that all of the key pins are standards, but they all have the tapered tops. And not like the quick set tapered tops. These are tops. These are more like the uh tapered tops out of the Lockwoods. And then I got a T-pin in one, a shorter T-pin in two, a longer T-pin in three, a T-pin spool in four, another T-pin spool that's shorter in five, and another really short T-pin in six. So that's what we have in this kite-marked UAP uh, Yale-style lock. Pete, I really appreciate the locks you sent. It uh, has been a pretty interesting adventure so far. Everyone, please stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. And please, like and subscribe. <laughs>